myself. My intro just not, ladies and gentlemen, you guys did not. Yeah, you don't wanna know what just happened, man. This damn shoe mess up my goddamn intro. Look at this shoe right here, man. Look how this jump falling apart and mess up my damn intro. And I wanted to do a nice intro, give you guys an update on how everything going, man. But this damn shoe, Nike shoe, size 15, just wanna mess up a man intro, man. I was having a good morning. I was having a great morning, man. It's 8.42 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Messing up my intro. I was gonna come in with Alan Love once again because recently I haven't been opening up the video and talking to you guys. My sweet subscribers, man, and this gonna happen. <sighs> gonna give you guys an update on my bulk and it's going well as you can see but I just don't want to talk right now <laughs> cause that is so embarrassing man to come in with an intro and your ass just hit the ground man <laughs> that's what I get for just lounging around being in bed all day well not all day technically 8.42 but it's cold outside 48 degrees you guys know how I like to do and when it's cold I stay in the bed I don't like to move around or nothing like that man <sighs> So embarrassing, man. We just gonna <laughs> just sit back. You guys can see how this vlog going. Just sit back, man, and enjoy the vlog, man. Ooh, ooh, man, it is so cold. I hope you guys are not still laughing. Please don't say that. Please, I hope you guys are not still laughing because that really did mess up my intro. But welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Mellow Brad. I haven't said that in forever, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. Liking the video would help my page grow so much. So please like the video, share the video, and hit that notification bell, people. So I'm just getting in the car and I'm running late. I'm supposed to be working out with Lee, the guy who helped me with the show, like helped me on my posing. I need to call him to let him know that I'm running late. Hold on, guys. Let me call him real quick because we supposed to have a back day. So I got my BCAs, my aminos, and my pump product. You know, we doing ghosts, but this right here is elapsed right now. But you know, I love ghosts. So guys, tag ghosts, man. Make them come to this page, like the video, and reach out to your boy. And I have my one bar. You guys know I love these one bars, but I had to call Lee because I am late. I'm supposed to be at 9 and it is 9.03. So let's call Lee real quick. It's cold. Hey, what's up, Kev? Hey, hey, Lee. Are you at the gym now? No, I'm on my way. Oh, that's that's perfect. I'm just getting in the car. I thought I was late. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll be there shortly. Okay. All right. All right. So that is perfect. That is perfect, guys. Like, you don't know how perfect that is. Like, I'm always late. You guys know because of the weather. Well, I ain't gonna just blame it on the weather, but my ass just late. I like to move at my own time, but this is not the case. So I'm gonna be on time. So you know that deserve a subscribe. <laughs> that deserve a like, some comments. You know, drop it all, man. Whatever you wanna see, man. Brad is back. I know I've been doing other things on the videos, but I'm back with the vlog and I'm gonna give you my personality. And and also, I'm supposed to be getting a care package from a subscriber, man. But I don't know where that's... I just can't find it. I just can't find that care package, man. But I'm going to try to find it today. Like, she sent me the tracking number and, and the package still not here. But I'm not going to ramble on. We're just going to get this back workout in with the great Lee. I call him the master Lee. And we're just going to get it, man. I'm going to head to the gym. When it comes to back, and if you want to develop a real good back, for some reason, you just got to incorporate these lower pulley rolls because it really works your lower lat and give it that thickness, lower rest area, which come into play. You're hitting most of your back poses. In Kevin's situation, you know, when he's showing off his back from the rear. Bringing in, pull in there, you want to make sure you're getting a good squeeze on the lower lat. I want to feel more. You notice, I lean forward with it, so that way I bring my lower back into play as well. All right. All right, Lee, what are we working on right now? Well, right now we're trying to focus on his upper lat uh, and the form. On this exercise right here, you want to try to make sure that you try to pinch the side with your elbow. That's where you keep the focus on your upper lats there. And you want to extend at the top. Make sure you get a little stretch in there as well. Come down there and you want to get a good squeeze going on in there. If you notice, if you had a shirt off right there, you would probably see these muscles in this area right here doing the run of the work. And now you seem to have his form going pretty good. Those elbows try to pinch in his side. 
Good job. Very good. Ali, what is this working right here? Well, right now, we focus on a little bit more on the thickness right down between your shoulder blades. When you come down and you squeeze that way, you ought to see the effect of this movement. Again, like I say, they're working on thickness right here, which is very necessary no matter what division you plan to compete in. In the NPC, probably any other competition, actually, you can find that thickness in the upper torso very important. And fail to do a significant back workout is doing yourself an injustice. All right, Lee, what is this working right here? Well, again, working in our, on our lower lat and building thickness down in that region there. Again, when it comes to the back, a lot of different variations. Try to hit all those muscles that you got going on back there. And if you notice, do a lot of rowing that is required for developing a good back repeatedly. Over and over, thickness is required. You can define the muscle, but you got to have a little thickness with it as well. I truly believe in that. Don't talk about the man, be the man. So we just finished an intense back workout. We work on the upper back, lower back, but this right here is my grandmaster, Lee, Bruce Leroy. And he's gonna explain what we did a few minutes ago. Great back workout, by the way, once again. Well, again, this morning, we were, like Kevin was saying, that we were working on back, a little bit on detail, you know, thickness, well-developed back is required in his division. Classic, nowadays you see these guys with these wide backs and these big coconut shoulders. Coming future here, we know that Kevin had thoughts in his mind of competing again. So what we're gonna be doing in the coming future is working on these areas, you know, getting a little more roundness in his shoulder and a little bit more thickness and detail in his back. But so far, he's been doing well. We expect great things from Kevin. We know he's not gonna be a one and done -er. <laughs> So all you guys that are viewing and subscribe, encourage him to come on, get back out there in the field. I'm straddling the fence right now. I don't know what should I do. So I'm asking you guys, my subscribers out there, I won't even say subscribers, my supporters, what should I do? Drop it down in the comments. Should I compete again or should I just chill and do my bulk and do my football challenges? You know how me and Elliot like to do. So therefore, I'm just straddling on the fence. We have a show coming up in April, I think, April the 20th. So if I do decide to do it, I'm gonna start like in January and I'm gonna lean down for four months. So so just let me know down in the comments once again. Rudy Moan, guys. Come on. This is how I want to be right here. Show him, Lee. There you go, Bruce Leroy. Think thong the thong the thong the. I don't know what that was. Just arriving to my parents' house, but let me put on my car mics before I start talking to you guys. Look at that. Yeah, public service announcement. Make sure you guys use the car mics, man. It is cold out here. You don't want your lips to be chapped, and you end up smiling. Them shits bleed. <laughs> So man, use your Carmax guys. Use your Carmax. It seems like my mother is not here. Only my dad because I see a truck and the door open as well guys. We had a great back session guys. Like once again, I am scrattling the fence on whether or not I want to compete or not because I a show is coming up April the 20th, I believe. April the 20th or the 24th. So therefore I have like four months to train for this if I start in January, but I'm undecided. At least they're talking to me. A lot of people talking to me wanting me to compete, but I just don't know yet, man. Just don't know. I got a lot of thinking to do. A lot of things that plays into this. So I don't know, guys. But I'm about to head inside, aggravate my dad, upload this new YouTube video I got coming, and uh, what else? Do some meal plans, some workout plans, and just and just chill. Yeah, we're just gonna chill. Update. So I have been sitting here for like two hours. I'm in my parents' room, as you can see. I'm all over their bed, messing their bed up. But guys, I have been trying for like two hours to get this video uploaded, and I'm thinking it's gonna be around three. 30 before the video or upload to my computer so therefore I can put it on YouTube. My mom has the slowest Wi-Fi in America, guys. I don't know if she had a dollar or what, guys. So I just literally been sitting here. Look at that. Literally been sitting here waiting on this to upload and also watching Martin as well. Everybody love Martin, but right now they're just commercial, but still have like 45 minutes left so this video can get up and running guys and i also have to head back to the gym i have a client as well and guys we are going christmas tree shopping i never went christmas tree shopping guys so stay tuned for that praying that this video can upload real soon guys So I thought about going to Michael's, but I changed my mind. So now I'm at Lowe's, guys. Look at these beautiful roses right here. But let's get back on track. So I'm looking at some Christmas trees, guys. They have some great Christmas trees, but they're more expensive, guys. Look at how these Christmas trees. 
groceries here. Like this right here is so nice, guys. Like this right here is two ninety eight. Right there, two ninety eight, three fifty eight. Only because it doesn't have any lights. But look at this nice one right here. I'm thinking about getting this one, but you guys know I'm cheap. And this right here is three ninety eight, guys. Nice Christmas trees. And I'm standing like in the middle, as you can see. I'm standing right in the middle of this pit right here, guys. We have so much stuff around. Just take a look. I want you guys to drop down in the comment which Christmas tree you think I should go for. I know you guys see all these lovely Christmas trees, these lights. We have Santa Claus, everything. I know it's only November the 22nd, but after Thanksgiving, tree is going up. Tree is going up, maybe before Thanksgiving. Never know because I never had a Christmas tree. Like, I wouldn't say never had a Christmas tree. This is my first time shopping for a Christmas tree by myself, so this is going to be an experience for me. I want to pick the best Christmas tree for me. I thought about doing a real Christmas tree. Then again, I'm cheap, so we're going to do one on a fake side. So I'm about to continue to look around. Hopefully I can find something nice for the crib. First time ever, man. So exciting. Finally back home, you guys. I decided not to get the Christmas tree right now. I'm just going to wait on Black Friday. So therefore, the prices can drop. Because like I said before, your boy is kind of cheap, man. Very cheap. So I'm waiting on Black Friday. But I want to discuss the topic of this video. What should I do? I have a lot of people DMing me, talking to me in the gym, my family. Everybody wanted me to compete again, but I don't know. It's a show April the 20th. Fourth, and that's a Saturday. It's like five months and some change out right now. And I'm just straddling the fence on whether I should compete or not, or not compete. It's a lot of things that goes in and compete. You gotta find your boy short. You gotta pay a lot of food. Like it's very expensive to compete, just to be honest. Not for men for sake, but for women it's more expensive. But on my side it's kind of cheap, but I still don't know whether or not I wanna compete or not. I'm really straddling the fence. I probably say I'm like 70% on competing again. 70%. I I would say 70%. I don't know, guys. I'm just confused at this point. My family, my brother is really pushing me to compete. Maybe because I'm inspiring people, showing people that you can do anything that you put your mind to. So I, I just don't know. Just leave it down in the comments. Like, as the week goes on, I'm just going to continue to think about it. I'm going to sleep on it. And I'm just going to continue to be myself, going to continue to work hard and just play everything out week by week guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did leave it a like share subscribe and smash that notification bell and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace i ain't never seen you around here before got me hypnotizing where you drop it low you know what you're doing yeah you know for sure couple hundreds in my pocket i might let it go